Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Chad from Chad DIY and today is finally the day I can unveil this brand new X-Tool S1 40 watt laser. Now in my opinion, this is the setup that people have been asking for, have been wanting. Why can't we get a dial laser in a full enclosure with fume extraction, some bells and whistles, like so many of the higher end CO2 machines have, but in the dialed setup. Now X-Tool has basically done that. They've taken their P2 model and their D1 Pro model, they kind of smashed them together, and this is, I think, what they came up with, which I think is a perfect setup. Now you're still gonna have more power in the P2 CO2 laser, of course, but with a 40 watt dialed laser, you're getting close to that power, and you also get that added feature and the safety feature of this enclosure with the protective lid. This machine also has integrated air assist. It has self-leveling feature. Really cool, the light. It lights up. There's probably more features that I don't even know about quite yet. You can also get attachments such as the riser. You can get the conveyor system on it. It's got uh, so many different options to get you started with. Now with all that being said, let's get into the unboxing of this laser. Let's get it all set up and ready to do its first cut. Now this S1 came super well packaged. You even have these safety straps, which I've, I've never seen before, but keeps it nice and secure in that package there. Comes all nicely wrapped. Pretty easy to manage just by one person kind of shuffling around here. Just taking all the protective plastic off of it. And most of the components, everything, are right inside the actual machine. Got some nice plastic around the protective shield there as well. And yeah, you got your manuals there. And there's that hose for the fume extraction. Got your power supplies here. So yeah, it came, there's your 40 watt diode part. All right, for assembly, there's a couple stopper blocks you're gonna to wanna to take off first, rip off those stickers, and then this kind of gantry is free to move. You can just hook up your 40 watt diode unit now to it, air assist as well. And now, yeah, there's this little uh, kind of, I don't know, set screw type thing just slides right in, and then a couple screws on the top secures the, the module here. All right, next is that kind of self-leveling, I guess, if you will. This is just magnetic, so it kind of just snaps on the side there. Now I'll move into installing the venting system for the fumes. It comes with just this, I guess, vent out the back, but I'm gonna want a hose to kind of point those fumes exactly where I want them to go, so I'm adding that attachment that did come with the machine. Just four screws to secure that all up. And I'll start plugging it in, you can plug in the power supply. There's also, this is kind of the key for it, like a doggle, I think they might refer to those as, they come with a couple of them. Here's the emergency stop on the side there. And here's the honeycomb that it did come with as well. This is kind of a, a rectangle honeycomb. A lot of machines come with the square honeycombs, but fits perfectly. And here is the air assist. Now I haven't seen an air assist like, like this design, it's a brand new one. And it's got a couple of different features on it. You can set it to auto, but you also can select different settings um, for how much air pressure you want while cutting. Got a couple extra filters there as well. So there's just a couple, uh, couple of things to hook up there. You want it in the top port there for the air. I think the bottom port actually, you can get a fire ex extraction kit to put in there. Now, power it up there. Plug it into the machine. These, these are these cables aren't USB-C. They're kind of special setup. All right, now we have it all set up. I must say that was really easy to do. The great thing about this S1 with that fully enclosed system is you don't have to build an enclosure like this. You basically take it out of the box, 
take a few screws out, add a few components, probably within a half an hour, I think you're gonna be ready to cut. Now I do have a little different setup than most here. I'm gonna vent it into my enclosure and then my enclosure is set up to vent out the window. Eventually I can just vent this right out the window once I get the right adapter. But for right now, just the first day on it, I'm gonna do, do it with this setup. Now also I kinda included a wide shot here. I have the X2 P2 in the back or off to the side there in the back, I guess. It might be hard to tell from this angle, but I would say this machine is about maybe two thirds the size of the P2. Not necessarily in cutting area, but just overall size of the machine. So it's a really nice size as far as being able for the capacity to cut, but also including that full enclosure uh, where you're gonna keep all those fumes in. All right, with all that being said, let's start doing some of our first cuts. All right, before we really get into the machine, I do wanna go over some of the key features that makes this S1X tool like no other laser. The first thing is this 40 watt module here. Super easy to just plug in and kind of slid right in place. Well, that will be interchangeable. So they'll have one that you can do metal with. I think there might be a 20 watt option and who knows what the future holds for that but I think it's gonna be really upgradable in the future too, but it's a really cool option to be able to kind of swap out those modules pretty easily. Another thing that really makes it stand out is just the enclosure itself. So most of those dial lasers, they don't have enclosure, you gotta build something, and this, you don't need your goggles. It all comes with that protective shield so you can walk around freely, you don't have to worry about damaging your eyes from that laser. Probably one of the most amazing features it does have is this twin point positioning system. Now it does not have a camera, but what it does have is pretty amazing, so let's go through that. Now with this twin point positioning system, you're gonna be able to get a super accurate idea of exactly where you're gonna be making your cuttings or engravings. It's a really simple process. You're gonna to wanna to start in the upper left-hand corner and this is shined down a laser beam. It's gonna be kind of hard to see from this angle, but you make your mark, and then you're gonna to go to the bottom right-hand corner and make another mark. Now what this does is it's gonna provide kind of a square rectangle or whatever shape you wanna do, and it's gonna really be able to make it easy to kind of pinpoint exactly where you want that engraving on your piece or where you want it to cut as well. Now as we try a sample test, I'm just gonna move this laser beam right up to that corner there. And then I'm gonna go in my software here and I'm gonna to wanna to go to start marking. So once that pops up, all you're gonna do is you're gonna push this button here, makes, makes the first point and then you can adjust it to where you want the second point, hit that button and then you're done. And then it pops up on the software, it shows uh, where you're gonna make, be making your cutting or engraving. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is just cut out a simple star. Now, I've been messing around with the software a little bit, and kind of a cool feature is when you move this laser, if you move it manually, the laser head, it actually adjusts on the software. It's kind of got a little cross there on the software, and that adjusts on the software side as well as this machine. So if you bring it down there, yeah, it's going along with the software as well. So that makes it really easy to know exactly where, when we put that star, where the laser's gonna be. Also, another feature on here that I didn't realize is gonna have is it has, I guess, auto leveling, if you will. Before, you kinda, uh, you had a little kickstand on like on the D1 Pro or whatever. This does it automatically, so we'll kinda go through that. But it's got a little probe here where it'll take the thickness of the wood and then kinda match it up to the frame. And then it knows exactly how thick the wood is, which is a really, really nice feature to have. All right, we'll get a star on here and we'll see how it cuts. All right, so I have my basic star up there right now. Now I'm gonna kind of set the material thickness here. And that is doing it on the machine. Yeah, you can see how the, the laser head is moving, even the software there, it goes, takes its measurement. All right, I'm set up with that now. And I think I can process this now. Yeah, process, all right and I can start making the cut. All right, looks like the fan is coming on. I forgot to turn on the air assist, so actually, this is gonna be a little charred for my first test, but yeah, the fan's coming on to extract all the fumes there. Automatically turns off. Yeah, it looks like all the fumes are basically gone there and cut really fast. Oh, there's a little fumes trapped under there, so. 
There we got that little star. So that worked very well. All right, we got that first cut out of the way. It turned out great. Now we're going to do something a little bit more complex. I'm going to use the scoring feature as well as the cut feature. We'll do a little decorative Hello Winter thing. Uh, we'll see how that turns out as well. I'm also going to turn the air assist to auto. I'm hoping it's going to not use it when it doesn't need to. And then when it starts cutting, it's going to turn on that air assist for the cut feature. So we'll see how the integrated air assist feature works on this. And let's see how it turns out. All right, the air assist did turn on when it started cutting here, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And you can really go at some fast e speeds with that 40 watt laser. All right, cut out, we'll let all those fumes get out of there. Yeah, there we go. So for my final test, I'm gonna do some engraving as well as some cutting. I'm gonna just pull my Chad DIY logo, kind of set that up, do a circle around it that I'll cut out. The material I am using is just three millimeter basswood, so really easy to cut, for, especially for a 40 watt laser. It's gonna be no problem, but let's see how this engraves and then cuts afterwards. All right, so there you have it. That is the first look at the X-Tool S1 40 watt diode laser. I'm blown away. It's definitely more like the P2CO2 laser, I think, than the D1 Pro. I've had a lot of different lasers in the shop, and it's definitely more towards that high-end P2 laser, which is really exciting. Now, if you have any questions on this S1, please leave them in that comment section below. I'll also provide the affiliate link. These are probably gonna be at the best price ever because it's just launching right now. So please use that affiliate link. It helps my channel, It'll save you some money. It's kind of a win-win, so I really appreciate that. And hopefully you'll check out my future videos. I do have the conveyor system as well as the riser kit. So I'm excited to do some long projects, see how that works out in some future videos. So as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and we'll see you on the next one.